What's going on everybody? This is a brand new Traxxas Nitro Slash. Today, we're going to fire it up for the very first time and do a break-in. I don't know how long it will take because there's people out there on the RC track right behind me burning some nitro and I want to join them, but I also do not want to leave a nitro behind. If you want to get one of these guys, I highly recommend you get this, whether it's your first nitro or your 100th. Hold on, that applies to me. How many do I actually have? It doesn't matter, because the real answer is you always want many, many more. 350 bucks, 50 miles per hour, A main, click the link in the description and make Nitro great again. So this Traxxas Nitro Slash belongs to you, bro, huh? Yes, it does. My first Nitro and I went to the right guy. I want to join the Nitro gang and here I am. I'm totally clueless how to work it, so who do I go to the pro? The natural guy. I like that, man. I wanna, I wanna learn it. I wanna be, a, I wanna master it like you. Why not be able to be a master like you? You're gonna be, you're gonna be an intermediate master soon. I know. Green up. We've been coming here to the RC track for a few years now, you and I, right? And right. you see me burning nitro, having a good time, being positive, staying fit, and being a good citizen. And you probably said, I wanna do all of those things as well, but I definitely need to get a nitro. And I wanna make nitro great again Enjoy it's been game. great you're gonna make it even greater Later. okay bro congratulations um, I'm very happy with the one you actually picked up I think I made this recommendation to you, you did. didn't I you did exactly yeah. exactly so let's do this let's set it down we're gonna do a little quickie tutorial I see you have all of the field equipment here ready for us ready you've uh, purchased the Traxxas Nitro fuel it's good enough to start with but later on we'll give you a little bit of advice 20% that's good I like it how about this let's uh take the body off i'm gonna do a little bit of an electronics check you always got to check that the, you know linkages are fine brakes work just an overall overview of the chassis all right guys so if you haven't seen one of these 50 miles per hour this will actually hit that speed which is really impressive now this chassis is essentially kind of an extended nitro rustler chassis there are many elements here that you can well they're interchangeable the nitro rustler which is very good for part support these are single speed transmissions with slipper clutches and yes they will hit 50 miles per hour have you checked whether there's a battery pack I put in the, the back? Battery in already. Okay, you I put the battery it, pack in. The brakes work. Okay. And the, and the throttle works. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. So let me take a look over here. Now, in case everyone, this is your first time, Traxxas includes a very handy starting your engine and how to do a proper break in. What it essentially boils down to is just doing heat cycles. That's what we're going to do. I'm not going to give you the line by line. If you want that, read this. Let's see how the steering is on the stock servo. Okay, servo's pretty good. Come Come on, steer it like you mean it, man. Pretend you're driving a Mazda Miata. Sickening, you just hit that drift. I, I saw you hit the drift. But what about throttle brakes? Let's check out the servo on the throttle brakes. Good, let me roll it forward. We have brakes. Okay, the wheels do actually lock up. The brake setup out of the factory is primo, just like a fresh cheese pizza pie out of a coal fire brick oven. Make nitro great again. Let's put the fuel in there and we're going to proceed with the first heat cycle. You don't really need a full tank. I normally put in about three quarters of a tank. You could always add more fuel. Don't get too obsessed with having a completely full tank. There needs to be a little bit of a air barrier gap there at the top because the exhaust line right here is going to the pipe. You don't want to really have it picking up a lot of uh, well fuel. You want it to have uh, enough breathing capacity. So. We got fuel, next thing we gotta do is prime. The way you prime is you turn this car around, you stick it sideways, you give it a stone cold stunner. But in reality, you basically put your finger on the pipe. I'll have you do that. So yeah, plug the pipe right there. You can lift it a little bit, plug it. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna use the electric starter, we're gonna stick it in the rear. This will light up our glow plug and turn over the electric start motor. When you plug the exhaust like that, what you're really doing is you're creating back pressure so it forces fuel into the engine. That's what you're doing. Now the fuel line here is actually really well protected in this uh, heat shrink, but normally we should be able to see fuel in the fuel line. So I'm gonna do this, you plug the exhaust. Okay, I saw fuel, you saw the fuel? Okay, that's it, you could let go of your finger. You heard kind of like how I was priming it, it's 
changed the tone. Yeah, you heard? Yeah, yeah, it changed heard the tone. That. that means the engine has uh, been primed correctly. So it's full of fuel. Now, you don't want to keep priming it. More than that, you will flood it. Is that it, every time you start? Every time? On a cold engine. On cold Generally engine. on a cold engine, okay. yes. But you see like right now, it's a little bit difficult to see yeah. fuel in there, but yeah. it, it, it is, up. you'll see later. You have yeah. to really be aware of this. So we're going to fire it up right now. We'll see how the tune is on a stock setting if it bogs down give it a little bit of throttle okay uh but but you know but we'll see what it is so i'm gonna put the electric start wand in there firing the nitro gang hole everybody almost there on the radio for now okay there it goes idle is too high we're going to wedge in the low speed needle on the inside here all right idle is dropping i can hear it that is a much better decent idle awesome response to a basic glitching of the low speed needle very very important now when i lifted it the wheels were moving too fast this is the idle you want make sense make sense i'm also going to richen it a little bit this is the high speed needle we want a little more smoke out the pipe this allows more fuel flow it's basically a valve it's a runner, bro. That idle is sickening. You want to hold it a little bit? Yeah, always hold it with the exhaust away from you because that stuff is smelly. That's perfect right there. You see that? The wheels, they're not moving crazy. We're doing a little break-in. A good amount of smoke coming out here. I can see it. I tuned the needles a little bit better. Also, listen, the high-speed needle. You guys can hear the idle has settled down. It's consistent. It's reliable. Moving the wheels like this is normal. It's no big deal. I'm gonna give it a couple minutes. We'll shut it down and we'll do a little recap. First heat cycle is done. Let's shut it down. I see a good amount of oil right there. It's going to plug the hole so we can talk a little bit. So first heat cycle, very successful. I gotta say the stock Traxxas carb settings for the 20% nitro fuel from Traxxas actually not too bad. I only really had to um, richen the high speed needle and the low speed needle. So engine is quite cool. I would say it definitely did not get over 200 degrees. We have to do a couple more heat cycles. That was about maybe half a tank. Now, I understand you were asking me a couple questions about the needles, what I was doing, right? Yeah. So I'm let's confused. go over it a yeah. little bit. If you can, uh, just turn this around so we have the needles to us and I'll explain to you a little bit in layman's terms. First but of all, this one. Oh, this needle? This yeah. is the high speed needle. Now, since we're doing a break-in right now, you're really not getting like 100% uh, results. Like, so if I'm turning it, I'm basically trying to lower the idle. Um, if you turn it left, think of this as a screw. It is allowing more fuel flow. The more fuel flow you generally have, the lower your RPM generally will be. Like you saw, yeah, yes, it's, it's the opposite of like, you know, it's like you're driving a car. Right. Now you love Mustangs. Yeah. You know, when you hit full throttle, it's going fast, right? Right. This, when you add more fuel, it actually gets a little more sluggish. It's the opposite. If you turn it to the right, it's leaning it. So you're closing the valve. Think of this as basically an Archimedes screw. So where you're is closing it getting the, the valve. So it's getting the air from somewhere else? The air, okay, so air and fuel. Okay, good, good, good question there. Air, we have the air filter. Dual stage, it's already pre-oiled, touch it. You feel the oil? Yeah. Uh, the logic of that is the oily, Thank you, filter will help attract dust and it won't make it through the engine this is very very important to have clean air filters but you know generally if you don't drive in sand it'll be okay for a long time now the fuel line here is really only responsible for the ratio of fuel um you know when you press the throttle on the radio that is responsible for the ratio of air yeah so oh. together it's mixing they're kind of it's separate it's not like you know you don't have electronic fuel injection right. like in a mustang so now what we're going to do, we're going to let it cool down about like, you know, maybe 10 minutes because it's kind of windy outside. But the goal when you're doing a break in, we're going to do a couple of heat cycles like this. You let it cool down each time. And um, we're basically trying to seat the piston and sleeve together. That's the goal today. There's a lot of uh, 
friction going on here. The oil is the lubricant, and we're trying to make sure that the piston seats correctly. You know, on modern cars, people don't really, there's no such thing as braking anymore. But long ago, when you had, let's say, lower quality Dodges out on the roads over there, you had to brake them in, right? For like a thousand miles, they said, don't floor it, or else your Dodge will leave you stranded, and you'll be like Al Bundy. We don't want to be Al Bundy unless it's real life. Because actually, he didn't have it that bad. He had a whole house on a shoe salesman's salary. Is that even imaginable today? Sickening. Okay, anyways, let's get back to it. We're going to let it cool down a little bit. We'll fire it up again. Very important thing I do want to mention for everyone out there and for you. Anytime you're turning off a nitro engine, always put the piston at the bottom. Now, the way we're going to achieve this, flip the car a little bit, 90 degrees over there, on its perpendicular side. Here is the flywheel. Now, notice how it moves freely. That means, well, now it's basically at the top. You want this to always be uh, at the bottom. When you feel the tension on the flywheel, kind of try to spin it with your finger. Go ahead. You can't spin it to the right. Can you spin it easily to the right? Just tell me. Can you spin it easily to the right? No, right? No, it's no. hard, right? No, why is that? That's because the piston currently is stuck at the top. So when these metals cool down, it's going to clamp onto the piston. You don't want it to be at the top. The goal is to get the piston to be at the bottom so i'm going to have to really force my finger here and move it it's real hard at the bottom okay it's real hard wow okay i almost got it i almost got it. i don't got it you got to be real strong to move it to the bottom can you move it forward okay that's it that's it, that's it. okay you want it to be free okay you moved it you moved it that's it so that was what you just felt you just felt the sickening compression that's the compression that's created at the top of the sleeve. It's not like a car. These wow. sleeves, when the piston's in the sleeve, yeah. it's tapered, kind of like a cone. And um, that's where it's getting the compression from. The goal is to always have it at the bottom. So you I don't want to let it cool at that point. I have to make sure it's small, smooth. It like moves, that. it moves, like it's not stuck. Okay. So now we can fire it up again. It's fine now. Yeah, so, you know, don't try to spin it over because you got to be, you got to like train your fingers for weightlifting, you know? You gotta be then incredible hulk on a new engine it's really tight wow so the is. electric star will overcome it but let's uh, do another heat cycle i'll be on the radio you'll be on the starter it should overcome it it should fire up yeah it could only go in one way go ahead yeah there we go great job great job let it run a little bit it'll settle down great start up if anything we'll just rinse it a little more There we go. It's settling down. That's fine. And we're gonna wait another about eight minutes. Break-ins are fun, huh? Absolutely. Not really yeah. that fun, but you learn a lot about the car. That's what I will say. You're learning, bro. I'm not gonna too much. File it away. Don't use the floppy drive, okay? Use use like you know a CDR in that brain, all right? Sickening. So the tune is very good. Exhaust is coming out, I see a good amount of oil. We're gonna give it a couple minutes here. Another heat cycle has been completed. Only needed like pretty much small minor tuning adjustments. You sometimes have to uh, give it a little throttle. You guys saw me doing that to clear out the pipe. There's a bunch of oil in this fuel, but no, no, nothing bad to say really. Traxxas Nitro Slash. The fastest, cheapest for a new Nitro you will ever get. We're gonna wait a little while. We're gonna do our heat cycle. All right, man, let's add a little more fuel. We're gonna be on our third heat cycle. Halfway? Quarter way? Yeah, just, you know, well, a little more than halfway. Just, you know, make sure it doesn't... Oh, hold on, hold on. You see, we got to open the fuel bottle first. <laughs> I was wondering do, you, it was do you know how many times I've done that? Spray. <laughs> Three times. <laughs> this is your first. <laughs> all right. Yeah, just fill it up, you know, just not all the way. Just, yeah, you'll see it. It's colored. You get it. Pour it. Pour it like Steve Urkel used to pour uh, whatever he poured in that uh, the time machine that he had. Six pack. <laughs> you know? Ah, uh, that should be fine, that should be fine, that's good. All right, I'm on the radio, you're on the starter. This is built-in training right here. Ready? Yep. Oh, now. Ah, that's good. That's good. All right, hold it a little bit. 
Rolls your wrist in a high speed needle. When it starts out a little bit, it's a little dainty, but just it's normal. Alright. Eight minutes. Put the timer on. Got the timer going right there? Take me, I'll let you know. Alright, you let me know, bro. Text me, okay? Email me, text me. Just don't call me, okay? I'm busy. All right, man, we did a couple heat cycles. It's time to uh, put it on the track a little bit. We're gonna try to keep it at like, you know, about uh, 25 to 50% throttle, nothing crazy. We're just trying to put a little more heat cycles on it while it's running. Five minutes? Five minutes? Well, we'll do like a couple laps. You, you, we'll, we'll get the feel of it. You know, we're not really timing it right now. Right. This is uh, not rocket science, it's nitro science, you know? All right, fire it up. A little more. Driving normal, don't flip. A little less throttle. You're going too fast, this ain't an electric. A little less throttle. Just You just want to keep it rolling, keep it rolling. Yeah, that's good, that's good, yeah, yeah. You're keeping it rolling, keeping airflow over the head. Don't flip, be careful, don't go over there in the turns. Forget you know anything about Armas, a little slower. All right, that's good. All right, drive normal. Break in. Use those brakes. Don't hit nothing on the sides. All right, you're concentrating on your first nitro. I'll ask you questions in a little bit. <laughs> Slash is running okay. There it is. The roll's beautiful. It's basically some of the braking. You gotta run a little bit too after a couple of those heat cycles. All right, let's bring it in. I'm gonna do a temperature check. Bring it in yet to me. Let's do a little onboard driving. Hopefully the RC is there on the track. No, this is new. That's it. We did a couple heat cycles, even put it on the track. Tracks a Nitro Rustler. 
you cannot beat this. Super reliable, like I said. Whether you're new to this hobby or you have about 100 to 200 of them, like I do, you could always use another Traxxas Nitro Slash. Thank you guys for watching. Special thanks to my channel members, my Patreon supporters, and you out there named Roger, Bob, Rosario. Don't know what your name is, but you right there watching. Thank you. I'll be back with you guys here again. And now I'm going to go burn some nitro on the track myself. In fact, I might put that in this video or I might not. Have a good day. It's my turn, everybody. And look what I brought. It's a sickening vintage off the buggy with an XTM engine and a super rare high optional low pro king heads cooling head. All of that sounds fantastic. Let's top it up. We're gonna use a starter box right next to me. By the way, this is gonna be on the channel. It's in for repairs, vintage off the buggy. You come to the RC track with one nitro, you leave with more than one. That's literally math that you can't really even explain effectively well. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's fire it up. Let's hope it starts easy here. Where's my glow driver? Misplaced it. Oh, it's right over there. All right, great. Let's fire it up. Fire in the nitro gang hole. There we go. It fired up. Incredible. Get the body on and hit the oval. We're on the track. Come on, come on, bro. <laughs> Unfortunately, at this time, the video cut out on the GoPro, probably because I need to upgrade to a newer one. So I figured I would take some time to give a plug to the great person in this video. This is his channel. Go subscribe, guys, and make sure you know that he's making Nitro great again. <laughs> Nitro World Order. Nitro World Order.